I was asked to say a few words for this unfortunate soul that is no longer with us. I'm not sure why. Nobody's even here. I knew him for many years. He was a person. His passing is a blow to all those who knew him, and a blessing to all those who didn't. This morning, as I wrote this eulogy, I felt something in my heart. Echoing like the thousands of voices that I heard while I spoke to people at Taco Bell, calling them fat lards, while I ordered my chalupa. I felt empty, trapped, yet fulfilled, free. This pain in my heart aches, not because of his passing. Lord knows he deserved it. but because of the situation which caused this tragic and untimely accident to occur. My heart, my heart feels heavy. Like that one time I drove through California or like drinking room temperature water like living in California. I knew the one who was responsible, a kind, generous soul, who would always lay down his own needs for the needs of others, giving when he had nothing to give, always able to lighten the mood in the worst of times in the gloomiest of circumstances. Caring in ways that would bring a tear to my eye. I often wonder in this life what more could you do? What more could you possibly do to show love and compassion to those less fortunate than yourselves? To those that don't deserve it? To those with unfortunate hair discolorations? But when I think of this man, the man responsible for this accident. I know. I know that he was only doing what he believed was best and right. I know that wherever he is now, he wishes that he was a better man. and wishes that he could have changed his ways. How did we get here? An adversarial action. An inconsiderate slight to his humanity. An appropriate response. To a malicious deed. It sickens me. The man who caused this accident was a simple man. A man who simply likes to think outside the box. A man who does not deserve 
what society is demanding of him. How did we get here?